I, I, I do sprint. think that that's how it's going to be. Mm -hmm. uh, but stuff like that has happened where you have to relearn your character after a patch, and your character is not weaker, and they're not necessarily stronger. They Sometimes just they just change shit because reasons. I mean, if you look at Street Fighter V, it's like that G kind of situation. I'm wondering what they're going to do here in terms of you know, their characters. We'll have to see. We only I, got, I what, am going to say, um, when, I when I was more of a competitive player, uh, and I was grinding the games more. I didn't dislike that part that I said of having to relearn your character between patches mm -hmm. because it gave kind of something fresh every time, something right? For you to Instead do, of right? just grinding yeah. the same combos and, and the, the same, same block strings. Yeah, you got to learn new stuff again. every time a patch dropped. I actually thought that part was kind of cool. So uh, I, I know that that was something I said. I didn't mean that in a negative context yeah, necessarily. I know, I know some people take it or, or they feel like that as a negative thing, yeah. but like, that does rush up the game as long as it's done in a way where they're not too divergent from that fun factor. Mm -hmm. So I hope they keep that there. Let's see what happens. But I right think now most we're people who are playing this game are also, they, they're not going to say it's good. They're not going to say it's bad. They will say the game's cracked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you play this game, you're going to have trouble not playing this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It definitely keeps you going. This The way that Strive is, I'm all about it. You know, Zerg was great, but this one really speaks to me. I'm curious to see what's going to happen here. We got 40%. This oh, dude came from Michigan again. again. He took the long this? road. He took the long Geo trip. You don't want to have the salty one back home. You want to go back home with some gas money Dual plus then some. Yeah, but I mean, he is up against a strong opponent. Chris Chaos. Uh, Chris Chaos is going to have some Giovanna experience. We have multiple Giovanna players here in Chicago to begin with. Uh, plus, he's just got a wealth of Guilty Gear players, and this game's very playable online now. Very playable. You can play people in your region just fine. I felt bad because I forgot early on. I was I was still only playing matches with locals, right? Because yeah, I forgot yeah. that I could just could play just with my friends in California. Yeah, you can, you can get West Coast, East Coast. It's all good. Just uh, please stop injuring the, ja the Japanese lobby. Yeah, thanks, uh, Backpack, for coming through with the squad on the raid here. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of FGC meetups here at Ignite in Skokie. We're in top eight, people. Winner's side starting off. Flash kick already making up a little bit of an upset. Getting the knockdown here and a dash up, too. Yeah, you know, I, I think that based on who we know to be the stronger players in our area, mm -hmm. it could be an upset, but I, I think based on how we've seen Flash kick play so far tonight, yeah. you know, it, maybe it, it not. Kinda makes sense. It kinda makes oh, sense. wow. Counter hit Dog Talk, too. Does burst. Chris Chaos can't get hit. And that's and it. Here it yes. is. Game one going to 40% Flash kick here. Just kind of scratching his head saying, no, I don't know about this one. You know, though, he, we saw earlier, right? He got washed for a round yeah, yeah, yeah. in one of his earlier matches, and he kind of collected himself, and he came back very strong. So we'll see what he has. Already establishing, oh, that was the wake-up kick DP. If that counter hit, Chip would have been deleted. Absolutely. But Speaking does find the of... Jump in. Red RC does follow up. Both to the wall. Like a combo. Mm. Nice. Too bad. Good conversion. I like that right there. So the spacing that you're left at without the super break, it's further than round start. And with those forward moving normals, uh, without needing the dash momentum, Chip is able to swing there. So it was a good challenge from Chris, but not enough health to survive the counter poke there. And that's the problem right here. Flash kick getting too much on these round start situations. Deleting Chris, his entire health pool before he can get going. And also the bar situation has been a big for Chris too. Nice. That was good. Chris saw the delay and was expecting the delay cancel, so he just DP'd and didn't hold the block. Yeah, yeah. He's Great like, call out. Man. He's able to get the burst out as well. ERC makes up that slow down the start up of that button. Now he's gonna get a Second step in the reckless. Oh, he's Red in RC. the air. Helipus, yes. Oh. There's the counter hit. Because he had blocked in the air, there were additional plus frames when he landed. Hella frame trap. Just dying to himself, starting to feel it. Trying to get into it. Yeah, I mean, if you're 40%, you definitely have to find some big hits now and try to end this, because we've seen Chris heat up like this. Mm -hmm. This is a good start. Oh my god, the damage. And the air record right there. Chris does have his burst. Working on 50 meter pretty close. BRC mix does Oh, fade. the fade away! Yeah, you have to burst. Didn't want to get those plus rates going. Off the doggy missile. Oh, that was scary. That was almost a whip punish. Gonna spin the RC here. Should get the splat. No, he's gonna keep the corner. RC, Whoa, the nice the dust. challenge! He saw the yellow stuff that yeah, was on the table. Yeah, and he could have just stood and blocked it, but because it was a charged dust, he was able to just challenge and beat it out. Oh, oh no! Wow, double drop kick. Did not have any guards to find a ball to say, oh, gold burst! Nice, good patience by Chris, oh, the and punish. he the low. 
Let's go one to one. Look at that smart stuff. Yo, Grizz with the movement. That was so tight. Yo, someone clip that. I want to see that later. Not just the patience to Two, wait one. out the dive kick, but also Let's being run. ready to push the crouching normal to hit him with the low as he landed. That was tight. Chris Chaos starting to wake up. The no dose cook a little bit of coffee. They with the Duncan. Yeah, did, did, did Kizzer make a group run? Did yeah, I guess there's some Where's of that mine? coffee. Some of that coffee, dog. Remember, can't you have an additive in your, uh, you know, your FCC when you're going to play? Red RC follow up. Chris Chaos put the pressure on. Oh, yeah, now the blade mix ups are working. Gonna get the burst out. Whoa. <laughs> <Running. Does> <laughs> Oh, big stuff with the 5K. Stuck us up the case. Oh, yeah. Overhead Overhead RC. Overhead Wall RC. combo. Run back out. Finish. Oh, wow. Okay. BRC. Yeah, Does. because of the BRC, he's able to actually get a full combo off this. Dash up throw. Either OG. person. Good blocks, but another grab. Bottom faultless. The lock on the we're seeing here from 40%. Adding all the throws in his menu. Puts him on set point. Counter hit, follow up. The dog kick on him. Alpha blade side switch too. Counter hit 2D. Boom to the wall. Eden Ross is 6K. He's been doing that quite a bit. Oh, this is big damage. Full charge dust. Yeah, that burst ain't coming in time. And Chris has no meter and no burst. There's the burst at least, but he gets caught back dashing. Yeah, the burst had there? to spend the burst and oh, the, the tap with the 2K. The soft touch. Just the 40K. tippy toes, closing it out. Yo, 40% out here. He said, I'm not going home to Michigan, dog, without some cash in my pocket. Yeah, he is in winner's finals. And Look he is pumped. Let's go. Got There's the gauntlets, the raising the skies. He said yeah. there can only be one. Tonight, there can only be one. Oh, the mask is sick, too. My man looking like an anime character. Let's go. My man looking All like right. a full anime character. You Tokyo Ghoul? Let's go. Let's see what we have coming up in our top eight. As you saw that match right there, Chris Chaos dropping down to the loser side. He's going to face off against the winner of Flower Man and T-Zero. But mm -hmm. we still have another winner's match. Going to be DPS against Kizzer Crate. DPS on the winner's side. I mentioned it earlier. He's been the story of FGC meetups for down? Strive. This he is aiming to make it his fourth week out of four. Can we not let that win. happen? I'm, yes. I'm, I'm, Who's going to step up? Who I'm in this bracket? I, I, All I, I'm saying is DPS is lucky Flower Man knocked me out. I was on a roll, <laughs> you know? You were on there? Yeah, Listen, you know? Has he seen a Leo like mine that will DP every time? Yeah, yeah I, I doubt it. I doubt I it. I doubt it. So I'm just saying these lucky. I did tonight. Comes. I did. Oh, you didn't see yeah, a Leo? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Actually, that was, that was one of my other matches. Oh, dang. Dang. Someone already <laughs> exposed my playstyle here. <laughs> I'm upset. Oh. Man, this was some good matches. Already in top eight, we're already here. Ian, we're gonna be seeing hopefully. I, I, I hate to, I hate to be biased, but I like to see the, the upsets though. You know, someone just destroying people for weeks upon weeks. You know, I'm the torn. The items and stuff. I hate. That. I'm torn because I agree that you know you like to see things shake it up. Also, Axel is a jerk. I don't like <laughs> him. Uh, but at the same time. DPS is just a good player, and mm -hmm. I like to see good play. I right, like right, to right. see you clean see high play. Level play. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I would rather see two busted characters played at a very high level mm. than anything else. I enjoy that. That's, That's what I like about fighting games. I like it the same way you like any other type of sport. I like seeing people do things that I want to do, right. but my well, hands never just aren't there. Yeah, right? It's not going to happen. I got the practice. I got a million OSs to go through. It's just not going to happen. I'll live vicariously through them. Hell, that's why I'm a commentator. Yeah, I'm hell yeah. I'm living vicariously to these people. And then there. we can act like we know what they did wrong. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, he probably would. If I was there, I would have. I would have uh, asked DP. Yeah, I would have <laughs> definitely DP'd right there. I would have RC. But, you know, obviously it's easier said than done. In this top eight, I, I really like the level of play out here in the Midwest. I've been watching a lot of, I mean, it was easy to watch a lot of tournaments out. There's a million tournaments online right now. Literally, there's tournaments every single day. There's not like, there's like four tournaments per day. So, see the level of play out here. I really like that these players are in a high level already. Like, I feel like we're getting to that point where we can be up there, we can test it. We, we already talked and about I think that, them, right? that speaks to the value of the netcode, right? Because mm -hmm. we were not back to offline for the first month, month so and a half of this game's life, but everyone was able to step themselves. up at a high level because we got to grind the shit out of the game online. I don't know about you. I, you know how much I mashed this game? I broke the down <laughs> micro switch on my JLF. I had one of those moments where you're like, I was still, I was holding down back, I right, swear. Yeah, yeah, I swear. It, except it. I actually was. I just broke my <laughs> stick from playing so much. <laughs> I definitely, I've been, uh, you know, let me just put it this way. I have Evo Street Fighter. I've got to do uh, tomorrow night. 
I'm sitting here conversating this game after showing how much I give a shit about this game. That means I really like this game quite a bit. So I've definitely been watching and playing quite a bit. And we've been watching some great action. Still in top eight. DPS, kids are crazy. Yeah, now, DPS at this point, this is the third Axel he's had to fight just on stream. I don't uh -huh. know what his off stream matches were like. But uh, the, the third Anji, rather. And. It's dangerous when you see the same character played by different players that are right. going to give you different looks, and you're going to have these notions of what they're going to do and what mixes they're going to use. You can see he wasn't ready for that one. There's the hop. This time just goes for the button. Nice. RC, yep. it's here with the code. Option selects. If you have 50 meter and you go for a throw, you should always be. Honestly, oh. no matter what, your hands should always be entering that option select mm -hmm. just in case the running forward before the throw built tops off the 50 meter. Right. Just get that going. As soon as you the bar, just and in case they find the follow ups, and that's why he's here. And if anyone Where's doesn't her? know what I mean, the option select is right after you input a throw, you just press RC. Yeah, always yeah. do it. Because if they get scooped or if they break, you're not going to be ready to RC yet. You're not going to get the red RC. But if it whiffs, you have no hit stop from the grab, so exactly. you're going to get a PRC in order to keep yourself safe. Good spin, but good PRC by DPS. And again, oh, the single storm. Fun, yes. So smart with it. This dude, one of the single storm, to elite the extension right there. Two D already off the bat though for Kizzy Craig back to the knockdown. Something we've seen him do multiple times in this tournament, and now put it on against PSP. Good block. Now that was blocked in the air, so he actually not only was he not able to punish the overhead, but because he chicken blocks, he had a whole plus frame. Great gets it right there, single storm. Right. Trying to find the jump in too far out though. Kizzy Craig has to find a way through these chains. Yes, with the oh, that's a big counter hit. Yes, he was at a range where you just can't Slash. burst. That is one of the biggest strengths of Axel is because of the disjointed boxes, he has a lot of combos that you just can't burst. It's just not physically possible. Because they're though not going to be deterred, already trying to work back in, be impatient. There's the overhead starter. He's got the wall as well. This is going to be a splat. No, DPS lets the burst rip. Forces it. I like that because of Kray, though. He took What's a good chunk in? of damage, though, before even getting that burst off. That's true. But if you can get in, that's another thing you don't have to worry about for a little bit later in this round to kiss the train. But he's been trying to find a way in. Again, Renson, Explosion, Max Distance, and the pushback in some of these situations. Gorilla Spin, and then PRC to stay solid and stay away. That's what he was air. looking for. That This whole time he's been looking for that anti-air into Ko. Mm -hmm. A little far from the combo. Got to hold the plus frame, so good block on the late air dash. Good block on the overhead. PRC into the low. That wasn't even the fast RC. He just caught him looking. Maybe he caught him trying to jump out. Put a low right oh, there. good Take patience turn. by Kizzer. He didn't overextend when he ran out of in resources. The, low, the finish, though, Kizzer. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Once he gets in, it's difficult to get him off. Especially, you have to find these moments that either block the exit bomber combo, whatever. Or you know you reset the positioning. It's difficult. Kizzer Cray been laying on a lot of pressure with these OTGs? record situations. I like that OTG on the way down too, because it forces the mix up to come at Axel immediately. Mm. He doesn't have time to really think about what you might do. There's the spin. Yep, gets the punish. Jump off. Burst though, back to the screen. And DPS, that's actually a dangerous burst in the situation that he's in. Kizzer has meter. He finds the command grab. Is he gonna RC? No, he's gonna hold on to his meter. Explosion again, trying to find a way in. Kizzer just dash blocking. Oh, the storm. good PRC. play by both. Oh! Gets got to take him to the corner. This Overhead, is going to be the drywall. big damage. And he has so much meter right now. What's Sweet. he going to spend it? Oh, just does the go. This is big PRC. Follow Ko. Chases him, yeah. Up on the 2D. Grilla spin. Dash up. Fujin low, low good RC. Box. DPS being patient. He is in the air. Oh, he is dash dash from oh, DPS. What a, what a read! Dash. What a read, yo DPS. If you have, if you have played this game, you know how difficult difficult it is when you make the read of they're gonna grab and I'm gonna back dash. Right. But the throw is so fast that you still get scooped so often. You have to be ahead of the read. DPS was just wars ahead. He is the one on set point. Kizzer Cray trying to fight back. Has lost so much health. Was trying to make the comeback. The return over C. It's not happening. Back to what Kizzer Cray back in play. But back in neutral is not where you want to be. You want to be up close for the face of the two face. This is looking pretty really ugly. There's the anti air. And you see it, right? There's a reason why DPS has 
won the first three FGC yes. meetups since we Jesus. came back. This sometimes dude. he just plays solid, but sometimes he just makes amazing plays, like that back dash in the corner to avoid the throw. This dude's oh, unusual. Oh, man. So that's going to bring us down to the loser's side. As we look at what's coming up in the rest of our top eight, we're going to have Macho coming up against Asian Victor. Okay. And then followed oh. by that, we're going to have Flower Man against T-Zero. Oh, man, that's a... Uh... That was, that was, it's one of those matches where it's like, dang, is there? That didn't feel like a 2-0. That was that a really good feel, set. Right, because it was so close in, in the actual match itself. So even, you know, the score doesn't actually give you the full history of the match. I feel like if they run into each other, Izakari might have something different to say. But then again, DPS with the adjustments in the mid-match shows why he's so strong, but we're not done with this bracket yet. We're not even close. We're going on loser side to zip up and ship up some body bags. Macho. Let me see what it do against Asian Victor, who runs hot. And Zotto Pot, not the most fun match for Pot in terms of getting in. Mm -hmm. uh, at the same time, uh, Zotto's pretty melty, right? If yeah, you get yeah. A hold of him. We saw, we saw, we already talked about the clip on Twitter where I do get two bars used with the two supers. Gets absolutely deleted and outplayed, but it doesn't always play out that way. You know, can you get in against somebody who is so focused on putting on pressure, so smart with the mixed kind of material? It's going to be difficult. Asian Victor, though. Did put the work in against Freddy Pow Pow. We just watched him on stream. He was pretty damn good. If you are just joining us, if you're in the area, in the Midwest area, make sure that y'all come through and come correct on the Fridays. Out here in Skokie, we got a lot of room. I see, room, uh, I see my fellow old man, Ronaldo, in the chat as well. What's Ooh. up, buddy? This is actually, as uh, maybe I've said earlier in the stream, one of the, I haven't came out here in a while in the last four weeks since they've been open. Zato I'm happy one. to be back. Y'all, it took me a while. I'm complaining like I had a long trip. I just had like a 35-minute Uber ride that was like 30 bucks that made me kind of seasick. That was it. <laughs> All right, Zotto versus Pot. Let's go. All right, let's see what it do. Macho. Both with the red colors. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. See if Macho can keep applying that pressure and not run off the desk. Because if you do, Asian Victor is going to be oh, right yes, behind Oh, yes, an immediate yeah. burst. Yeah, don't let things get going with that Mega Fist, though. Does pick up the frog. Oh, again. yes, Aiden. and Macho is so consistent, not just with his burst baits, but he's always ready to punish the burst bait with a full charge dust. Mm -hmm. And we've seen how Macho uses the meter. The meter is so valuable for him to continue playing the way that he wants to, that it's getting the meterless damage on the burst bonus is huge for him. It's fantastic. Speaking of meterless damage, oh my Oh, check the God. red, he's almost dead. One touch, Asia Victor. 6H gets the Volcanic Splash. I see Commandro dropping the subs, immediately powered up Potemkin. Asian Victor was like, let's the go back, and back Mega Fist. Fist. That is oh so cheap. Oh my goodness. The range that you can claim on that, especially in the two. That's a DP. Oh, no. it's a DP. Back Mega Fist is a DP. Do not listen to anyone who describes it as something differently. Hey, yo, Commando, I see you, dog. 6H, all how you came through when you saw some big boy bot coming through. Jump H. Careful now, you lost all this health. Macho cannot let that get going again. We talked about how. Okay, open up with the overhead, but he's not an Eddie meter. He's going to have to spend some meter. Yes, yeah, spends the sword to get Eddie back. To the wall. Stamp the fingers. Clap the cheeks. Oh, that was Short cheap. Week. Cheap. RC. Finds a fish to leapfrog. And that Good was patience by Asian Victor, though, holding on to his burst there. That yeah, would have been yeah. a lost cause. I definitely would have smashed burst right there. Yeah, we're in top eight, right? We don't yeah. want to see hero burst right no, now. No, no, no. They don't work out like that. Well, they don't he work out like that. Well, he Eddie with the back Mega Fist. He did eat a drill, but he was able to get out and able to collect that slide head just because he shot down Eddie. Woo! The, the, the classic oh, the jump jab. Got he, some Eddie's in play. Let's go. In the throw. Pick him up. Put him down. Right to the drywall. We can't be found. Going for the super to set the situation. Off the ass of the 2 8. This is actually okay for Asian Victor. He's going to get out to neutral. He has meter. Going to RC here. Yeah. Burst. Doesn't even burst on hit. Just wants to get. Oh, the no. Dust. And oh, there's no. a little bit of risk here. Oh, he's dead. Wow. He's dead. The whole venue. The whole venue right now, really in pain along with Macho. Me too. Asian Victor. Oh, Asian Victor. Grapplers don't was, make it me feel good. If, the, if you want to support the cause, 
A pop player. No more subs. No more subs. I don't want any more grapplers. Stop the subs. I don't want any more grapplers on the stream, please. I'm begging you. They've if you want to fight powerful. back for Macho, give him some love. Drop some subs in his way. <laughs> Agent Victor's so smart with it, though. He knows if he just flies one touch, and Macho ain't got no bar in terms of burst, he has to hold that. So if he's going to hold the pressure, there's a the burst, though. Agent Victor saving away the pressure that Macho had going on. Look at the float right there. Trying to avoid that volcanic splash. Omega Fist, though. Red RC. Oh, don't let him get close. Ooh, the pop buster! Jump H, Water C, oh, yeah. the Not fist Nice back throw, gonna get the positioning. He's gotta find this mix, gets the grab, that should do it. All right, Macho back in there. Dude, this dog is, this dog is dirty right here. Asian Victor out here. Greasy, bro, you greasy. Off the P's, putting up the leak frog, the 2S right there, nice knockdown. Float, jump H. Has the meter, yep. Does. Leapfrog, super. Pull to the wall. I gotta say, I'm actually really impressed the way that Macho has collected himself in this second I would've game. quit, I would've he quit. Could, oh yeah, yeah, I would've, I would've been, been, done. I would've been I would've checked been done. out. My brain would've already been back home. I would've been, <laughs> All right, I, I would've dude. been, yeah, no, I would've been looking <laughs> up, call is the Uber Taco right Bell now? still open, you know, like. Where can I drown and eat my sorrows? But we are not sorry. We're gonna have more action right here. Macho, Asian Victor, game point. Game point, counter hit, round start with it. Denying that with the prayer to the sky. Oh, got the punish on the whip Garuda with the jump A, jump in H. Oh, big First base. Baby. Yeah. Give it to him back. Not as much damage, we can definitely put it on it. Yeah, and that's Six a tricky spinning. combo as well. So the, the charge dust isn't even like guaranteed big damage for Zotto. Oh, too far for that one. Oh, but it make a fist though. I just want to see yeah. more of Burst? That make a fist though. 2S, lockdown with the spikes. Leapfrog, pressure, dust again, and there's the win. Macho on set point. And again, this is loser side. This is elimination point for Asian Victor here. I'm about to go home. Oh, nice anti -air. There's the 6P. Not quite the starter that like a 2H is, but pretty good damage there. The Mega Fist stuff from Eddie right there. Oh, good blocks and Mega Fist. Mega Fist. I'm calling Mega it out. Fist. Megis. <laughs> Megi They're Megis now. The Mega Fist. <laughs> Oppose! I'm done letting you play neutral, dog. Hold the sword. The parlor trick. Shaking his head. I think he knew. He's like, I probably shouldn't have put my finger in that Oppose. Oh, no. And this could be the finish. Leap Frog and another sword swipe. Good night. Macho collecting himself really well. Storming back with the reverse 2-0. Gonna move no, on we, on the loser side part. of top eight. Zato. Good stuff to him. Hey, yo, that was so tight. Yo, I gotta give big credits out here to Asian Victor. Yeah, dog. kept it pretty hype. Yeah, he kept it pretty sick. Them dust, as soon as he went to the sky, his health was deleted. But good stuff even more to Macho. To stay saw, that's why he's going through the bracket again. Right, with that yep. mental fortitude. Every now and then I eight. see players and I have to think, why are they still in while I'm eliminated? <laughs> that's why. You know, maybe it's because <laughs> they don't break down when they get grappled upon. Yeah, so yeah. coming up next, going to be Flower Man. Flower Man also recollected himself after losing to an old man on stream. <laughs> Got his run back, made it into the loser <laughs> side of top eight. He's going to be facing off against T-Zero here. Oh, y'all, this is this has been ridiculous. Not this on offline commentary. There's something on online commentary that you just you don't have the, the, the feeling of watching the players reel back. I wish we it's just the energy in the building, too. And that yeah. is something that as a streamer, yeah. right? That's the hard part. The, the, the technology, the audio, obviously, all that stuff's hard. But the hard part is recreating the feeling of being here and I, I you know you got to be basking in it at the moment I've, I've had this this is my third week this is your back. third week yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, you're wearing it like a robe right now this shit feels so good <laughs> this feels so good and you know again see all these players come out here 50 plus people love seeing the support for this game not only that street fighter all the games so if, again you're in the area make sure y'all are coming through and get coming correct i love to see new faces let me know when you get here let us know when you get here don't be shy Try to get yourself on stream. Get yep. your clout. Get, come Speaking on, get of your support, clout. we do have that Macharino link in the yeah, chat. Right. The boys at Low Kick set one up. If you like what you see out of the Chicago Stripe players, mm -hmm. you can hit that up. Hit the claim code button. You can add 50 cents to the pot for free. Uh, you know, maybe feel free to drop a buck or two for our boys here, too. So. Let's go. Come on, people. I didn't even know we had a Macharino. Let me. 
Run that. Run that match real. Exclamation mark match real in the chat. Just like that. Put the love in. Put the love in because we will get some more action. Farm in versus Whoa. Dio. All right. Early T zero, Dolphin. my bad. Yeah, Dino I believe Dio. it's a zero. Dio player. We ain't no, we ain't no yeah, I was about to say, I don't, I, don't see, I don't see him holding the phone with Smash GG <laughs> open. Getting the early burst out of Farman. Farman just trying to get something started. This is a scary matchup for Milia. Mm -hmm. I mean, May may not look good, but she's a big damage character, and Milia does have relatively low health, and May also has some very good air normal. She can cover some space, where Milia is generally not accustomed to getting bodied air to air. Right, that close space situation and the damage we were talking about gets the job done. The first one to T zero. Knocked out off the 2D. Yeah, catches the 2D. And T0, you know, for better or worse, being a May player, definitely trying to get away, right? Trying to be squirrely, trying to get out of the pressure, getting open up. Movement stuff, you know? Because sometimes all you need is the one hit to start. And I think that's that way against Millie in general. Sometimes you just got to knock her down. With a knockdown. Here we go. Right? Side switch. Yeah, bad, bad moon. Red RC follow up with the Doesn't even ass. need the splat. Right. He was close with that, too. Farman, even things out. And also, he's been really good about finding the knockdown situations and then going for the mix instead of just jumping up and getting anti air there. As soon as I say that, already eight. Look at the Damn, risk right now. Oh, on the overhead. He's fortunate that that risk was not one level higher to where that would have been a counter hit. Mm -hmm. Oh, Flyerman cannot get out of this corner right now. This is going to hurt. This might be dead. Yes, oh, it is. T0 taking game one. Nice and just when, when May gets going, you can put her in a continuous amount of win, but if May gets going, it's going to be hard to get that win. That close uh, situation and, and also. Man, he, he's a patient player, right? He's yeah, trying yeah. to find a way to, a step, you know, like work in through neutral. He wants yeah. to play neutral to get the knockdown, then he wants to party. I think he's going to have to find a way to party first and work later. Yeah, 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 yeah. you got to start your week on Saturday sometimes. Exactly. So, yeah. you know, you got to get a little up, you know, Red RC. Gets a pick up, put him down. Just a throw, punish. Yeah, pretty light punish. Oh no. Go burst from this May. is scary. Red RC, go find a follow up. Oh, the counter hit and the Red RC finish. Dash up close as T0 on set point. Oh um, yeah, that's a rough start. Catches the jump in. This is a good counter hit though with the fire slash. Yeah, the heavy on deck right there to find a follow up. Nice right movement, Farman getting out of the way of that JH. Didn't get traded with, but that trade was fortunate for him. Too bad. And he's out of the corner. Where he needs to be, stay away so you can play. Close as can. And then on the other side, Farman's movement actually worked against him. T Zero went for the slide that is punishable on block, and Farman accidentally just zipped out of the way. <laughs> Another counter hit here, though. Fighting back with all that risk gauge at the like building up. Ooh, the trade. In the right now, oh, oh be. no. Right now, what, Callisto? I was about to say, right now those trades are okay for Flowerman because he had the life lead, but... Oh, oh no, that's inside. probably it. Yes, the OTG. And that's going to do it. T0 moving on in losers. Flowerman going home in seventh. Still pretty good showing for him tonight. He's teasing. This cat right here, he's super strong. This yeah, dude. this is his Apply first time. Apply that pressure, uh, right. I think, I think that's just his first time on the stream in general. Like, I I had to type in the name by hand, you know, the autocomplete. Right, thing right. Him, My so. man hadn't shown up in a bit. So uh, maybe a new player, uh, new to me for sure. So mm. like what I saw, he had kind of the right mix uh, of kind of doing the regular Gorilla Blanca style May, but also- But stagger step with some of yes. these, some of these uh, not only the specials, but also just the normals too. And again, those anti-situations, and just maximizing the amount of damage the goal person definitely heavy that's what we're gonna be seeing him go heavier in the bracket look at macho coming up this dude brought a dang different chair he said give me the regular stuff no gamer stuff here give me the yeah regular you know stuff. i could see that depending uh and he's using uh looks like he's using an a-trap there it's a bigger stick sometimes you don't uh, want the the armrest right that uh, might be why. Okay, i don't okay. think they have them here at this location maybe i'll see if they can uh you know boop them over here uh, at the other Ignite, we actually had two of these chairs with the arms yeah, removed awesome. that were a little bit easier around, yeah. for yeah to play on sticks. So uh, it kind of depends. Uh, it, it depends. Uh, Macho, a taller guy, he's got mm -hmm. some pretty wide arms, right? His elbows are probably hitting the armrest. So that's fair. That's fair. Man, 
I'm trying to throw down on one of those Herman Miller chairs at the new house, right? I'm trying to spend Ooh. that money, but I don't know what the armrests are like for playing in stick, and I don't yeah. want to drop a $1,000 on a chair. And you're getting it just like, Yeah, just yeah, swaying, exactly. Like, I was like, I, I don't want to buy a $1,000 chair and then find out I can't play on it. My, my, my like, 15-year-old $90 Staples chair is... is <laughs> It's doing its Not job. Gonna, yeah, yeah, it's, it is. It's on duty. It is, but it is it is near retirement. It's oh, trying to no, collect the been pension been for sure. <laughs> been through a lot. Been through some dinners. <laughs> Angie, Mito. Oh, man. You got kids of Craig coming up against Macho. These two definitely have played a handful of times, both online and off. Uh, Kisser also, you know, coming with that legacy gear knowledge mm -hmm. is going to be aware of how to how to approach the Zotto matchup. And this is, character-wise, the buttons don't work out very well for Anji necessarily. Zotto players will tell you that he has bad normals and he can't play with that. Man, that's because bad. Zotto players lie all the time. <laughs> all the you time. Ain't they definitely, with this game, with the first drop, Ogawa's room. Ogawa sitting here talking about Zotto, what he can't do. Meanwhile, Goku cooking in brackets. That said, Anji does have good tools for navigating right. He covers some good space with his normals. He can swat Eddie away here and there. He can spin through Eddie. But sometimes that's a risk for uh, for Anji. He can spin through Eddie, but if Zato didn't commit to a follow-up, oh, he tried to oh, jump and got no. hit with the super. Hit back down. Yeah, positive bonus. This is looking scary. Wow. Nice catch on the side switch. Yeah, the six So smart with it. Did he commit to the air dash? Oh, he oh, got he's through. Got, he still got hit. He still got hit with the close S, though. I've never seen the tracking get blown up by the air dash like that. I thought he was going to get hit. Macho, though, still getting the follow-up to 2S finish. I like how it's been like three matches and nobody's noticed that birthday train is on. <laughs> that's, how you, that's how you close things out so easily. Uh-oh. So finds a follow-up. Yeah, big damage. This is what I was talking about. It's, oh! Woo. That was scary. He got past the oppose without getting punished, but he is in the corner, is taking some damage. Still has the positive bonus. 2-8. Go to the wall with the leak frog. Is he going to let the parry rip? No. Okay. Oh, no. Went for the spin into Ko. So was awake and aware. Stopping hands again, trying to find There it is. Oh, there it was. Trying to get it going, but Macho He does again. have meter for another. No, didn't let it rip. Macho taking game one here. Macho's pressure just too much, but in the middle of his pressure, he's so smart with just like, I know what you want to do. Yeah, there, the there's a 100 like meter on, on Anji's side. You have to respect that parry super. And I believe that it'll activate from Eddie and still like actually Watch smoke. Up. Yeah, it'll still have smoke out of there. I know that I've thrown a fireball that activated it and I got smoked for it. <laughs> now Kai, Kai fireball is kind of hit punishable on, on, on hit. Or maybe that's a Kai thing. <laughs> All right, the knockdown again. Macho, keep the distance. Leap frog. Oh, yeah, that's a good starter. And he's going to close out the combo. Nice and efficient for Macho here. Yeah, we got to do something. This is set point. Okay, the throw. gets a start. Got to hold the OK. No, he doesn't. Runs the burst. You know, I've, I've noticed that we, we talked about how Macho kind of wants to play a one-player game, right? You can see it in his burst habits. He will burst not just the first time that he gets hit, yeah. but he'll burst the first time that the opponent has advantage in general. He's like, no, 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 I want to yeah, play. Yeah, yeah, He's like, no, 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 I don't care what Mom said. I'll beat you up. <laughs> but Kizer plugs in his dick, and he's with it. Now he's trying to make things out, but put a game on the board. Nice. Using the 2P there, swatting away, Eddie. 2P, cancel, overhead. Oh, this is going to hurt. Good mix up right here. Again, double down with the overhead. Okay. Had a drop on the 5K, but still in pretty good position here. Oh, overhead again. No. That's in the dome. Already been baptized. And Macho has actually shown a pose in that situation more than once. And both times, Kizzer has shown the right air dash normal to get over it. He's going to take game two here. We got an even match. If Kizzer can't get going, it's hard to stop. Same with Macho on both sides. Then again, Kizzer does have the meter in terms of you will get to worry about that counter hit situation. Yeah, especially with that overhead starter. That is a oh very damaging God. starter. And a little health character like this guy right yeah. here. Dangerous. 6H. We sit off the K. Kizzer get getting knockdown. a little frisky with the 2P challenge. Trying to create a gap here. First, put him back in the corner. Then offensive with it. Some distance. Kizzer creating also one to him. So it's not. So friendly for him to, you know, one burst of good back to square one. 
for the bar for the overhead. Oh, that was a good block. If he would have pushed a, a JH there trying to hold his ground, he would have got smoked by that 6B. However, the outcome right now is still sort of the same, still pushing the corner. This is kind of even advantage. Positive bonus is on Kizzer's side. Life advantage is on Macho's side. Macho has meter as well. He's going to be able to reset this pressure. Kizzer has to watch out for Amorphous here. Side jump in, a little damage, but again, PRC. back for one. I don't know about that PRC. Oh, oh the okay, box. able to finish the combo. That was a really risky PRC because that gave Kizzer the meter advantage, and one hit with a, an RC combo definitely would have killed okay. Zato in that situation. Set point, Macho to move to the side. The knockdown. Oh, he caught the backdash. Backdash again. again. Yes, this time he's ready to finish the combo. Nice the use of PRC. The yeah. Hits so the combo weird. off the big drill. Oh, oh, he didn't pose. even wait for him. <laughs> Yo, he said one step behind you, and then he let the 2S rip. Yo, that's sick. Yo, 2D, though. It's a knockdown. Co. Dash up. Throw. Yeah, you're going to hold this if you're watching. You don't want to come. What will come after Kizzer's the counter trying hit. to get that burst, burst out, and he did, but he's not ready for the punish. No. Jump in. Red RC oh, first made it. it. He's not up for the punish. Oh, he's the his yeah, it has to FD. The chip is going to add up. Wait it out, Eddie. Good. FD pushed him out of the dust what? range, but the Death spike. The and Kizzer giving him a stick a tap. I think that he went for the spin and just didn't get it out fast enough. Okay. Ended up getting caught by the drill. Wow. Moving Macho, on. yeah, moving on. Kizzer going home. We can say going home, and he's really going home He's actually this time. going home. It's not to the other side of the room. It's not to, like... Take a lap around the block or whatever. It's literally going home. So this sets up further in our bracket. Kizzer K and Macho done. It's going to set up Macho and the winner of Chris Chaos in Team Zero. Then in the winner's finals, 40% flash kick going up against DPS. Yeah, that is kind of what I, I think a lot of people are waiting to see, right? Nobody in Chicago could put DPS away. It could work on maybe, it. Maybe, maybe we can, you know, bring, it, bring in Please. some... Uh, well, we could outsource the job to Michigan, outsource right? We could, We'd hire a hitman get from the, outside. Get the offshore support I guess they'll here. Count, you know? <laughs> oh, 40% flash kick coming through the call center, help us, helping us out with the service here. Whatever, whatever it takes. Whatever it takes, forty percent. That's what I'm gonna say. Next time I get, next time I get Washbo, so I'm be like, yeah, I, I know people in Detroit. I know people, I know people in Michigan. <laughs> I got shooters. <laughs> I got shooters of a Michigan, bro. <laughs> Whatever it takes, man. They're gonna, cast two that person's going to leave that tournament like, I don't even know what the 313 is. What were they what, talking, what about? They talking what? about? What is that? <laughs> Chris Chaos on the player one side with the chip. T0, oh my god. I was about to say that T0 has shown some damaging conversions. And with the chip help, Ooh, oh wow. Red, Red RC. Red. Look at where that close has followed up at! That's so ridiculous. The T0 stays so solid. Uh oh. Also, after that 2K whip, 6K pickup, wall combo. Nails it this time, and the splat. That is such a cool combo. Ninja stuff just happens. Plus, you can go for resets too. I've been seeing a lot of the Japanese and Korean uh, chip players go for something different every single time off that wall combo. So you can get even more. Okay. Guess the Alpha Blade 2. Chris still in this round. Chip is an issue. Spends his meter on YRC too. He has no. Now, now he does have meter to FT, but he gets the frame trap. You know what? This is fine. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. You know what? You know what? That, that's fine. If you're Chris, not only did he get the burst out, but he got it so late that he is going to have a monster burst advantage for the rest of this round. I take advantage. Chris, the immediate burst right there. Yeah, exactly, but he had it available, and now if he can get a hit, now that he got away, T0 will not have their own burst available. Mm -hmm. they got to hold this pressure. 6K, six, six I'm sorry. Yeah, frame traps after the overhead. Didn't have RC, so he couldn't combo. That's a big trade for T0 to not get opened up with that counter hit. Now, meter to finding extension for Hidley Village right here. Red RC in the end. Feel the deal. Chris Chaos. Two. That's so smart. This is what you were saying before. Take the brush off the table. We're going to hold this pressure. How does it feel, mate? How does it feel? Oh, man. Chris, though, he knows exactly what is up that dolphin's nose right now. He's seen the snout a couple of times. <laughs> up close and personal. <laughs> like, Wakes up in a cold sweat. 
You gotta get one of those trimmers, bro. <laughs> oh, Seth cancel right there again. Pull up the pressure this number at RC. Good Where jump out, but that risk is cranked. Ooh. And he the reset. The yeah. He had the move, but. Oh, the delay into the JH. That was so good. Chris gets the side switch. He doesn't get to continue the combo, but. So with the Dolphin, oh, yeah. staying solid again. Zero. Just not a lot of life left. And T Zero taking game one here. Just a stagger steps from T Zero. They're so hard to, to place when he wants to play. Where he's going to bust down. Or put the Dolphin on the deck. A lot of main players, you can find a, a kind of a rhythm. You can kind of stop them in their approach creatively, but not T Zero. There's some leap grab. Gonna get the corner here. First with a max distance. Oh, yeah, the okay. DB, yeah. Tired of your call. <laughs> okay. Can he follow up? 2S? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be a splat. It's gonna be positive bonus. And he's gonna have the plus 36 advantage here. Mm -hmm. But has to respect that meter. That whale super is there. Not the whale, the, the orca one orca, orca. is the reversal one. Oh, big counter hit. RC, RC, no burst available for T Zero. If Chris can get the wall hero, be in good position. He went for the reset though. Smart stuff. Chris trying to keep the pressure on. He got to do that because T Zero has proven if he gets going, it's oh my god, round start counter hit. Take him to the corner. Over Oh yeah. 2H, That's a blade. good starter. Perfect. Almost fortunate for T Zero that he had eaten a hit right before, so the wall damage was already sort of built up. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice command dash through. Did see cancel? Wow. Anti right there from T Zero. Gets a big up. Too. Oh, <laughs> big bait. Okay, this is huge. He, he has the meter. He just needs to find a hit here. The jump back. T Zero looking for the burst. Blocks Whoa, it. fast RC. That was weird. And FD too, but big anti air. Chris got to finish this. And it's still not enough. May is still living. This is so scary right now. You gotta finish the job. Up. Yeah, he has positive bonus. Oh no. Dash up 2K. Chris zero. Chris chaos, I should say. Taking zero down a little bit. Now we're even now. I like how we're we have a, a May on the screen. We got whale stream coming through with the rain. I see. Yeah, this is about to be a whale stream. <laughs> and Chris chaos. Don't stay solid. He's, he's doing pretty good. He's doing a lot better about, about kind of jailing in to zero. As soon as I say that, Burst puts it right back in the corner. Yeah, I think he starts sort of catching on. T Zero has a lot of really funky timings for some things. He, like we saw that earlier, right, with the jump forward into the corner, and he waited till after Chris Chaos had done the, the faultless, and then he pressed a really late JH. Oh, the side switch with the Dolphin. Good block by Chris and the DP busting out of pressure. His reversal timings are a lot better right now. Going with T0 wants to play. And reversal RC. out of a block string in this game is very hard. I can do a wake up DP. I can't DP a block string yeah. for my life. It just does not happen for me. Oh, he that. caught him walking oh. forward. I think he thought he was going to be on the other side. With a dash up to do it from Chris. Chaos. I thought he was smoked. And he's brought it back around to match point. Straight. Still not bad for Chris Castle. He gets a bad Oh, man. T Zero has. He's got to fix that habit at some point. He is mashed after getting hit by 6K every time, and he's got counter hit every time. You can't let that go. That's just a, it's a party starter right there. Good challenge. Speaking of party starters, he went for the full charge dust. Uh, Dolphin. Got to pay for in, it. A lot, of, a lot of life lost here. Yeah, but I mean, if you chip right, that's a, any combo against yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, you know what's going to happen. Yeah, Chris is not going to be shook by. The amount of damage he just ate there. To be, to be Dolphin, Shipping follow around. Up. Yes. Final game, final round. Chris Chaos in T Zero. It's going down. Ooh, the anti on the two K. They said you couldn't deal with it. Left was right. So he bought the feet. Oh wow! I thought that was going to be a super late overhead. Maybe Christmas timed it. T Zero able to get out of the situation, only took a little bit of damage. Yeah, Chris is out of there, running forward, building some meter. Go oh, the stare down, the game of chicken into the slide. And now you see him introducing the meaty fireball situation, but Chris, I'm vegetarian with it. BRC. And Chris finally showing the JD. Now I know everyone complains about J2K coming mm. out of chip. JD smokes my buttons. I have JD a lot of good. trouble. Yeah. TD is pretty damn good, but BRC follow up, find the throw. Come in the corner, dash up first. All right, both bursts are gone. We're playing next hit wins, more or less. Oh, and oh the look at the grab. No, no meter, though. Up. Couldn't RC, but there's the anti-air. Anti That's going to do it.
T Zero with the thumbs up, staying alive. Chris Chaos gonna take Man. fifth place tonight. Ooh, Not that, but T Zero, dog, he's swinging out here. He has been showing people all of Sea World and showing me more. We, I like how he was also at the end. We saw the meaty fireball set up. Like main players don't have to do that. Yeah. But if they add that on, they become even stronger. That's how you again tell a stronger main player from the weaker main player. Weak main players are just swinging out here. But the stronger ones are like, let me add, add do something different. It's going to set up our winner's finals. This is a match I think a lot of us have been excited for. 40% flash kick coming up against DPS. Let's see if 40% can shake things up here. Take down so far the established ruler of FGC meetups mm -hmm. post time skip. Dang, post time skip, you have some new villains some new heroes and things like that. We really that. do. The power creep really? is an issue, man. Yeah, exactly. Is... Oh, where was this person at <laughs> earlier in the arcs? You know what I'm saying? Where, what was going on with them? They were just not showing up, but they're showing up right here. This could be their fourth win. I hope 40, the person that came from Michigan, will be the one to do them in. I hope 40 is the one that's like, listen, I'm not trying to go I, home. I think the important part is <laughs> if you're 40%, you finish in the money already, right? You're, you're guaranteed that's true, top that's three. True, that's true. That gas is at least kind of covered for the trip back to Michigan, right? Two so, or more. Yeah, everything now is gravy. Yeah, showing off the gauntlets, the bracers. My man's got the Tokyo Ghoul. That is, that the is Tokyo Ghoul, let's go. Plus three dexterity for sure. Look at the power-ups. Is that legal? Do we know? Yeah. Let me ask a certain Twitter follow or Twitter. Person. We'll see if his hair change, <laughs> if his hair changes color. He's out of here. Over. He's he's gonna not, go. We're not waiting on that. You know, super so, saying he's no, gotta no, go. No. <laughs> Axel Low versus Geo. We already know what happens. Their hair turns white. They come back as a cop. Not acceptable. No, 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 not on my street. No, 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 no. I know who you are. You can't fool me. And is this? We're doing first of three, right? And yes, this, this is a first of three. Three out of man, five. Man, winners left final. Left plan, baby. Left is plan. Oh, let's go, people. Winners finals. It's going to determine Grand Finals winner side. The established versus 40% coming through from Michigan. He's going to want to do it for the people of Michigan. He's the hitter. We have to call in. We have to call him in. Well, the intro's rock. They're definitely serious right here. Yeah, big anime right now. Mm. You're playing anime. You're going to act anime. I don't think I've ever seen this matchup before either. 6P looking for a mid right off the bat. I've seen it. And it's like Geo gets in. Mother's actual and don't want to know. I don't yeah. know the full particulars. Not many people do. I mean, we just do with the game, right? So I'm not have not been fully discussed out. Yeah, I, I think that Geo definitely has the option to approach quickly. Although, because dashing is so important to her game plan, she has to worry about running into buttons. Especially Rinse and things like that. Real early, especially full screen. Gets got reset, though. Here's the throw. Yeah, that risk gauge is cranked. DPS has to be careful. Yes, instant burst. Garcia stay solid. Gotta find the fadeaway. Nice jump in right here, counter hit. Yeah, take open. this turn, okay. Definitely aware, minus four on the dog Tatsu there. Able to take a turn if she doesn't have meter to RC. Wow, the burst for momentum. Good block on the charge, Dust. Dash out throw, red RC, follow up. This is definitely gonna do it, put him through the drywall. All right, one round on the board. And I hear some cheers in the back. They know that DPS. Yeah, I think the locals are tired of losing to DPS, yeah, right? They like, want to. Someone's gonna do it. Someone's gotta make step him in. bleed. Make him bleed. I don't mean to make him bleed. Take him out. It's here right there with the counter hit. DPS answering back. Full close knockdown. Catching the back dash. Didn't commit too hard though. Single storm cancel. It's time to command grab. PRC to maintain the corner. Nice combo. And the, and the bomber. bomber? That was Ooh. a sick, sick route. Not only did he, get, did he get the side switch to maintain the corner while also getting the full charge dust for max damage, he also got the bomber splat, which is another huge chunk of damage. There we go. Even things out. Is the DP no there? Nobody home? Has a jump in, pops him in the corner. That was okay. So that combo was mostly jabs, right? So it was a bunch of light buttons that consumed all the risk. So he didn't have to eat unscaled big normals. If you're going to eat an unscaled normal, make it a 5P instead of, you know, a heavy slash. Right. You definitely don't want to eat that. It's too much. You're going to die. All right. Big knockdown. Side DPS sweep. looking for the burst, but 40% being really patient here. And that should be the round. Rack yes. up. Takes him down. 40% with the first one. Bro, 40% is a dog. I want more of that cake. Y'all gave me a little bit. I want a lot of it. 40%. Oh, I'll wow, start with trade. a 2D. Axel went flying. 
Nice 6 key though. It's not even it's an interruption right there. Oh, uh, the far side. Oh, the first bait. Able to recollect though. Oh, back at you. And 40% has shown that before, right? He's. It, it's a good recognition in the matchup. It is very hard to burst Axel combos because of this, because you're so far away. So why not burst just to keep him in the corner? Right. Stay offensive with the defense. It's fine to do. Now, good back dash, but he chases. Oh, wow. We're able to block in time. Plus three, two. Red RC, follow up. Dust Axel Bomber See, finish right there. Big damage I just thought, from the bomber. Honestly, I thought it was over for DPS when things got going for 40%. Had all that bar to cook with, with nothing on the plate. Just chunking the chip, building up. This is it coming in, put the door on the face. Jump back. Again, swing enough here. DPS has been keeping 4% out and making a few damage. He is running out of real estate to run away to, though. That corner is looming, and there's a counter hit. No burst yet. Got to make the most of it. Dust, pick up, put it to the wall. All right, so that bad. this is not bad for DPS. He has 100 meters. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> That's this is bad. bad for DPS. Dust, pick up, put it to the wall. So alive. One touch. Is it going to be Dust? No BRC. Good nice block defense. in the air, but he wasn't ready for the spin rooney Had the burst. Oh, yeah. Try to punish the world. Oh, FD for damn dear lunch. Can't get touched. BRC. And he went and got him. Great choice of air normal. The jump K reaching upwards. Yo, 40% kind of cooking right now. Gets a counter hit. Put him in the, coat, in the corner. 2D. He's been swinging that butt now every so often. He's been catching two or BPS and butts every so often. He's getting counter hit, but he has fight back. Come in, grab. This is huge. The side switch is great. He needs this real estate to back off to because you've seen on block, even without a combo, the corner carry from Giovanna just in block strings is huge. Mm -hmm. Good block. Taking his turn. Yeah, too, 2D. Too slow of buttons to punish there. Oh, that was a huge trade for DPS. Those were big letters. And the sickle storm again for the win. DPS. Now yeah, starting to acclimate and deliberate on how to make this man defibrillate. One to one in terms of games. So again, th is this going to be another thing where we see DPS just start to, oh, that's what you want to do. That's what yeah, I mean, the, the winning he's been doing has not been an accident. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah, been it, a fluke, right? Yeah. You can see the adaptation it's set, and that's been a lot of it the last few weeks. He's been adapting to his opponents. He has lost. He's lost games. He's lost sets. But he's won the runbacks for one. And two, he's won after the first games, after losing early very often. True. It's going to be real pivotal right here. Who goes up another game, but also he's got some momentum. Oh, here plus frames. frames. Yep. That's why you see him at the end. Trying to get some distance. Counter DPS, him. yeah, running forward out of the counter, just claiming a little bit of space at a time. And now he has the life lead. Yo, I like that. Back yes, BRC. Dust. Red RC, they'll put him against the wall. I like that. He did the uncharged dust because he had the meter to RC into a combo. Just DPS okay. has been blocking the charge dust pretty consistently, so good choice there. Dust and again, Red uncharged RC. dust. Maybe he's found the opening, and with that positive bonus, he had all the meter he needed to just do it again. If you're DPS, you've got to be looking at these situations. As soon as you see the yellow, just go ahead and just hit that block button, dog. Just hold back. Be down back for the down back. Or maybe not down back if you get opened up. That's an overhead. Yeah, it's it's a scary situation because now the 2S becomes a threat, right? right the yeah. multi-hitting low, trying to catch him. Wow! Hitbox! That's ridiculous. That's too deep. Uh -oh. Trying to come through. Gets the punish. The DP. Oh, right and there. the frame trap. That was sort of fake, but DPS was expecting the, the cancel to the dog tattoo, waiting for the cancel into the RC, but instead he just ran up and pushed another button. And a very quick game three here. You are seeing the problems with Axel like that. When you are up and close Mankind in front of the face like that, you just get pressure. Consistency. Especially against Geo. Really Geo wants the mall, right? Yeah, she wants the mall. That is where she is strongest, is in your face. And she has the movement and the tools to close that gap quicker than most characters. And 40, his game plan is, let me just get in once. Let me just get in once. That's with bar, and he's got the bar to back himself up with a dust situation. Runs it all that time, though. Trade, this is fine for 
Forty percent. He puts him Good in the block. corner. Red RC yeah. gets the RC out. Good block on the two S as well. But he's still in the corner. He's still down a ton of life, and he's bleeding meter because of the FDs he's doing. You can't use for later. Got to do this for all. And, and that's without meter. Isn't he doing a ton of damage a lot? You know, maybe chip situations when you're full screen stuff like that. But you're not having to worry about these extinctions. One's the burst though. Dash oh, up the nine. Three dashes. Yeah, that was scary. Oh no, Ooh. but he pressed the button a little too early, missed his combo, and now he's got to hold this mix. Good block on the 2D, and able to close it out with the 5K. This is a really important round for DPS. He wants to make this 2-2 two two as fast as possible. Exactly, because this is game point right here for Flash. Plus range back dash, though. DPS not trying to guess. Plus frames. I noticed DPS has actually not been challenging the spiral arrow. I don't know if it just goes through axle buttons at that range if he doesn't have the best challenge for it, but he's been seeing it and just kind of holding the pressure. Yeah, or backdashing after it, you know, on block. Just dealing with it that way. Dash up dust. Opens him up a little bit, but not enough I, to I like combo. this harassing with the uncharged dust, too. Even if you don't have the meter to RC, it's just a little bit of damage at a time. And it's like that mental stack, too. Like, you put that on them, you got to worry about it, and then when you do land the charged dust, it's going to hurt even more. And TPS, that was kind of a sketchy burst. His burst habits are usually pretty clean, but that was a little bit of a hero burst there, and now he is staring at set point. The pressure. The 40% flash kick. Too much for deep. Yes. Good challenge. Takes his turn with the 5K. Gets a counter hit. Uh, close slash. Explosion. Winston. Right and there. the side the bomber. Big damage. OTG. And he has some room to back off to. These are small stages, though. Axel does not have a ton of room to run away. What's about RC? Swim in the corner. No cancel. 2D. No bite, though. Wow, this DPS time. is just content to block it out, but that time he got counter hit, and that's a big chunk. Oh, oh, wow. This might be dead with Axel help. This is going to be very close. Just Full line. He has no burst. One he touch. has a meter. BRC air throw. Okay. DPS what do you got? No what do you got, DPS? He has a meter again. PRC to stay safe. And oh, the anti air. The two to two. Game point. 40% flash kick. And DPS. Will he please? Yeah, 40 Will a god go down? 40% is hype too. He he likes good games. He likes good sets. He yeah, is, if he you is having level, fun you in this set. He ain't one of those scrubs like me coming through. Ain't no one of those special You know you're having a good scrubs. time playing a fighting game when you pop off because you got anti air. Right. You're like, okay, dog, you nice. And he's not deterred. He's right back in with the stagger pressure. Oh, that's going to be hella plus range. Yes, Cajun, all the way. Look at the risk. Oh, my God, it's pulled it up. Yes. Don't get touched or tapped. Plus range. Flip Good kick. block, but oh, the my God. Gauge. The warning. Rid C. Stagger step on the dust first. He had to do it. That's right away 2 H. Back to neutral. Back to square one. How's Flash going to get in? First gold edition. Got the bar to cook with. Entire. DPS now a lot more aggressive in terms of swinging up these buttons. Oh, the follow with the BRC. Wow, lock him down the slowdown the check. too. Dust, pick up. Oh no, kick. that's a drop. But the trade still oh. splats. Wow, what a trade. 40% flash kick. Now the one on set point to move to winner's side. Grand finals of this week's FTC meetup. DPS though, he's already survived one set point. That's true. He's been here before. I think nothing to him. If anything, he's going to get more aggressive. As we see it right here, he can play that mid-range game that Axel doesn't even thrive in. Yeah, you can see the APM definitely went up in this game. Back to full screen. Explosion. From the back door. Flash kick. You know, a lot of help. He knows if he can get in one, just once. Just once. He's going to imagine happening. Burst. Was it on him? Is that a hero burst? Is it worth it? I mean, wire this, see? yeah. Oh, the jump back! He's back in! He said, I have one He's more thing to you! Oh no, I he didn't get the red RC! You. He got PRC, he RC'd too late. And the and jump the back. back! Final game, final round! 40% flash kick, DPS going to the limit! And despite the hero burst, he killed enough time that actually he has the burst lead in this situation That's going true. into this last round. Lucky boy. I'm okay. give you 40%, you gotta get counter hit. Wow, big damage off the start. So I'm trying to find an opening. DPS not, now just alternating the, 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 the FDs to not waste too much bar. He wants to keep some of that. Uh oh. Doggy talk to dust. Uh oh. Oh no, oh, the drop. Stagger step right there. 
should... At the air There's the air grab. Okay. OTGs. Keeping the pressure going. That's a big counter hit. Oh, no super. super. This is going to hurt. Oh, he's That's dead. 40% flash kick popping up. Moving on to winner side grand finals. Put the goal is to the skies, baby. The goal is to the skies. 40% flash kick. Pop it off, baby. I'm like Tokyo Ghoul. Listen, Mans is popping off right now. Mans is popping off. The, the whole crowd giving him hugs and love, but it ain't over yet. You see DPS, he's sitting up in the seat, gets the pound, but he knows it's not over just yet. That's not how it goes down. This tournament is not over. He has only solidified himself in winner's side of Grand Finals. Sick sequence here, sick pressure for 40% to stay solid. It is not over yet, though. That's just solidifying winner's Look side of things. Look at the damage. That was crazy. The pop off. Oh! What a set. Hey, y'all. <laughs> local still hype, y'all. I don't care what nobody said. Local still hype. All right, so that's going to take Woo! us back down to the loser side. We're going back to a two out of three loser semifinals. Going to be Macho going up against T Zero. <laughs> y'all got, got the grand blue. The I, I, I glitched too hard. I glitched too hard on the replay button, and it still had uh, it still had the replay oh. from last time from the Grand Blue tournament loaded up. That's such a sick <laughs> thing that we have. That that's so sick. Shout out to Callisto giving y'all some good good out here with this good good action. Strive edition. Let's go to the loser side and see what it do. Macho. Oh man, I'm tired now. This tournament oh. needs to hurry up. That was this all. That was so tight, y'all. That was so sick, man. My veins are getting worn out, man. The blood's pumping too hard. This is a good good. Right? All right, DPS, oh. though, not out of it yet. He is in loser's final. It's going to be right, awaiting right, right. the winner of this match. Again, this is just a two out of three. Oh God, y'all got me sweating and stressing out here. I'm supposed to be saving my boys for this weekend. But, man, local stride be hitting different, dog. You yeah, be you better get that tea and honey for, oh, for Evo, I already got to stay up to, like, 3 a.m. or be up at 3 a.m. Is that tomorrow? It's Sunday. Okay. I didn't okay, think about okay, that for a second because okay. I was like, wait a minute. I was like, wait, at first I was like, it's fine. It's Monday. Wait, we do Fridays oh. now. Woo. <laughs> All Glad right. you are enjoying this too as well. We're going to have more action. It's not over just yet. The storyline has not been concluded. You only saw maybe the credits. Now stick around for the epilogue, which is even better and even more juicy. Go Look at this. Finish. Look at our players. No pads synced. Everything running on all cylinders. Mm. We're back. We're Everyone back, remembers how to run a tournament. Proud of y'all. Proud of y'all. And the eagle is soaring in the skies. We'll let the land on some more. Strive action. Sano versus May. T Zero versus Macho. Let's go. And we don't have a ton of May players in the area. So, I mean, this is going to be a matchup that Macho might not have the most experience in. I heard, I saw him on Twitter kind of asking for some love and trying to find some Macho you know, love. He's trying to swing on some Macho or some, some May players to understand how they play. So, we had to go outside the situation. So, he may have something in his pocket this week. But then again, T-Zero has been, been proving that he's a and little bit different. This is, I thought it was, so this is a run back. Uh, Macho is the one who put T-Zero into losers back in pools. Mm, okay, okay. Run back right here. That's T-Zero got to himself. Opposed, yep. Stop, he's like opposed. Yeah, good patience. Opposed neutral. Good patience by uh, T-Zero. That's a stop sign, right? You need, to yeah, you need to recognize when a pose is out. If you are close enough, you need to run up and grab it. And if not, you need to wait it out. Yeah, just let it go. It's his time to shine. In the chase on the back, that's a hot pursuit. That was rated R. T-Zero with the first one. Ooh, counter hit round start. Yeah. Remember, I said how surprised I was when I saw something clean beat far slash at round start. That's why. That button is very solid. It's a little slow, but good range, good hitbox. Same with 6 right there. Able to find the end player. Does. Move to the wall. He's bleed. Also trying to put the pressure on. We talked about this before. You gotta apply the pressure, or you're gonna be pressure. Beat frog. Super. Keep it going. Oh, he Hold forgot overhead. about the rest of it. Yo. That's for the burst. Oh, nice back dash. Macho staying evasive. Trying to find the hit to close it out. Ooh, that was scary. Good block. Not coming with the two piece, too. Put the spikes down. 6 B. Trying to get some space to call Eddie out. There you go. Now he can push to the corner. And you do Answer. not respect the jazz hands. Eddie coming through with 
with the pizzazz there. The pizzazz. A little bit of pizzazz. A little sparkle. Like, uh oh, Round Star had to burst. I like that from Macho. He's like, don't let it get going. In the opposed, in the two. And this is the 2H. This is the party starter for Zotto. In that situation, to lock him down and put the mix on him. That's where Macho loves to live. It's the mix. Will it blend? Of course it'll blend. You want to get that win. 6H cancel K. Oh, what a check Ooh. with the 5P. Yo, the awareness from T Zero to stay solid. And the side switch? Hold on to 6H. All right, positive bonus. Macho probably going to have 50 meter first. Interrupt with the the Merce is there. Yeah, immediately. Yeah. Stop the situation right there again with the QS situation. Clip the nails. Macho with the first one. Oh, man. It's, it's, it's difficult to see and they get stopped so many times for the 2 a situation. With a round start like that. The There's the fire slash, man. It's a good button. All right, this time, T-Zero respecting the oppose. All right, just a little bit of invite hell on there. In the burst, put it back at distance. Yeah, both these players are like, I don't need this burst. Get it out of here. Burst is persistent. It's weighing me down. The super sick situation right there to get the corner carry. Yeah, and, and I like this. Up. He didn't use the splat. He angled the the spear, the, the sword so that it didn't splat, and he was able to keep the pressure going with Eddie out. But just like that, you'll get some distance on him. Dash up, command grab, no follow up. Oh, look, he does off the corner. I forgot that. I think he's going to amorph. He's either going to BRC or amorphous right off the bat. There's the BRC, BRC yes. And the two-age finish right I can there. tell you, I'm not going to 100% know what Macho's going to do in any situation, but I can tell you that after a break with 100 meter, he's going to spend it. Especially that situation because it wasn't broken by a super. There was no frame advantage there for T-Zero. True. Locked out with the lead frog. Put him to the corner. From the back door, it's not Domino. It's a knockdown to the side. And the meaty fireball setup. Again, seeing that from T-Zero means that he's pressure. Yo, wake up drill. OK. That's what we do out here. Red RC, the follow up. What's this close ass? No dolphin finisher. So the oh, he went the for the grab. grab, yes. Mix, mix, mix. Beat Frog Edition. And again, I think he's going to BRC again for the mix. No, he's going to just respect the backdash. That actually worked out because the backdash would have gotten clear of the BRC, and now he has the meter for the PRC, and that's going to do it. Macho hanging in there, taking it 2-0. T-Zero going home in fourth place, so not, bad, not, not bad. a bad showing for him. Two out of three. <laughs> no, that's it, that's it. It's, it's two, it's two yeah, out of three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, I said run it back. <laughs> See you next week. But Team Zero did do a lot of work, so got to give him a lot of credit as Macho stays on the stage. Yeah, and he's going to be finals. awaiting DPS. And Ooh. I see T-Zero actually over there. Uh, he actually went and sat down with DPS. I don't know if they they're, – they're both – Look, you know, on the Those younger siblings? side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if they're related. Yeah. I don't know if they're friends. Uh, I, you know, who knows? We're old men up here, right? The next generation of players already coming up strong. Let them play. I'm going to sit on the, the commentator side of things. And, uh, you know, you know, my time is over. Their time is now. D-P-S. Man, man like 40 said, get in there. <laughs> yeah, because he, he's, <laughs> he's like, I want, he wants to play his match. Guy. Yeah, he's like, he's like, come on. Come on with it. But this, I, this I feel that, right? I, to some extent, I enjoy being on the loser side in a top eight situation because I want to play matches. I want to keep, keep, keep the heat, keep right? The heat, I don't want to sit heat. and get cold. I don't want to think about what other people are doing. I want to keep playing. Let's see here if DPS can even get that chance to come back because Macho may have learned something in these matches. Seated up on the loser side, win after win after win. Already's got one on T0, but can you take down the god right here? Will he be the first one to put him out of the tournament? And then you've got another new final boss that may be coming up in disc three, right after this. Loser's finals, first to three, Macho versus EPS. Send it out to the people on Twitter right now. Let people know what's going on. Midwest finest in this bracket. Man, dual one. Let's rock. I'm oh, right. sorry, wrapping up with it. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Offensive he started start. Off. Macho going in. Ooh, double, oh, double, double, the dust. Put the kicks on. 
and those dust combos are super hard like, compared to other characters. Yeah, there are. <laughs> I'm glad I got it. I dial it out. I'm just HS, HS, HSS. HS. Same here with Leo. I got much going on. Slavacho with a perfect KO against the God. What a statement. But you still got three games to go. And DPS is shown. And you can acclimate and deliver what you need to do. But again, the corner already. And there's no burst available. Gets the command grab. Got to hold the pressure. Far slash. Into some Eddie stuff. I don't know those. Yeah. I don't know the names. That was a frog. <laughs> the same leap on switch, part of the sword, the same sword and right there. Macho is a touch away from a double perfect. Side oh, switch. he swatted Eddie away though. That's okay because he wasn't able to combo. He's harassing with these two Ps, but he can't get anything from him. Eddie is back and he has the meter though. Watch out for the amorphous. Oh, oh the opposed. The opposed. The you better stay one. in that corner. Oh, did he grab? What attack? The whole stays alive. Look at the defense over DPS. Macho still has not taken damage. I don't play. I think he took some chip now. Okay. The sweep off the feet. Jump H, Red RC. DPS fighting back. Look at the damage. Gets out of the command grab. DRC, Whoa. oh, you see the trick on that, but still the goal first. Lance gives DPS a lot of more to work with. Yeah, the JH DRC just flies Zotto across. It was fadeaways right here from DPS. This play. He's got that bar also. Yeah, he's got 100 meter. I think if you're Macho, just as long as you don't lose your burst in this round, it's okay. Yeah, it, it's fine. He, he's gotten the good start both rounds so far. I think that you're okay to just take your burst into this round and try to get this early hit again. Right. And you can do that early burst in that situation. Oh, no! Far wow. slash don't work out for one. Jump denied right there, dash up to S. Yeah, good job dashing up through the dead zone there. Again, that's one of the things you said before. You have to figure out a way to fight this character. So different than the other ones. Different kind of game plan. Yeah, there is a dead zone during the chain. The sickles have the hitbox, but most of those normals, the actual chain doesn't have a hitbox. Oh, Axel just gets too high up. Not able to chase him down with Zotto. And again, using the JHPRC. That's an escape. Float. Careful, though. Oh, finds a follow up right here. That's 2 s Leap frog does. Burst. DPS back in a better position in terms of, you know, range, but. Jump back, jump back, twist, single storm. It's so hard to get that punch when you're at that. Oh, this is huge. Burst. Gold burst? Oh, okay. What's he? Oh, okay. the world, though? He has to watch out. Okay, okay so oh, there. Oh, Amorphous. And Amorphous. Oh, no! Amorphous. Oh, my God. No! Are you kidding me? Zotto it's Shark Week, baby! With the tiny health, Zotto hanging in there Check on a pixel. Check me out Discovery, Chuck. Discovery Channel. Let's go. That was sick. That was sick. <laughs> Macho with the first game. Loses finals. We had to go to the limit for it. You know what I'm saying? And again, Macho using that burst offensively, using it just to keep him pinned down in the corner. Oh, I actually thought Zotto grabbed Axel there. Yeah. We'll switch the positions right here. Jump S. Jump H again. Off the Splat, yes. Red RC, yeah. You gotta get your damage going. One touch situation. This is bad for Macho. If I tell you that BRC, 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 right back at him. Trying to chase him in the air. There it is. Macho trying to work, but he's better around stars. And DPS are starting to add up in terms of you're gonna work a longer road ahead of you. Good blocks by Macho. Through. His Marvel player is definitely showing, except too much block stun. Wasn't time to grab yet. Look at this time the leap, though. Watch the feeling froggy. Torres gets the knockdown, dash up with it. DPS trying to escape the corner and does so successfully. Find a fadeaway. Was that an overhead or did he get caught trying to jump? He just got caught trying to jump. First max, but I don't know if you're going to be with that. Maybe you definitely. Yes. Why was to take this game? DRC anti oh, and the fadeaway three-pointer. And DPS storming right back with a pretty quick game two here. This DPS dude again adjusting and having the better round starts that we were seeing from Macho. So taking a second before he jumps in. Aim the game. Dust opens him up. First faded away to baby. Double, double the dust. Eric, we gotta hold this. Six, eight. Dash oh, up he even ran extra to call out the back dash. Yeah. It still just came up a little short. 
Maybe so. Axel backdash just a little further than he was expecting there. Unfortunate. Still got caught in the corner. Float off the piece. Step down with the plus range on the leapfrog. Dust again. Leapfrog. That should be the round. Has a ton of meter. Yeah, yeah straight yeah, to Amorphous. Keep the scaling low. Get the splat. Big damage. Ooh. Really important round right here, right? You don't want to be down 2-1 in the first of three. Oh, that's cheap. I mean, uh, you had the oppose right there. Can build up hard for Animorphous to lock down full speed here. Jump back. Have the meter so important. It gets you the, you like to kind of scoop through some of these chain moments. Or to put the mix on them. Macho has so much meter right now from all that dash blocking. Is he gonna, he didn't even spend the RC actually. He's just holding it. Probably in case he needs to get Eddie back. That's true. I don't know though what? if he can safely just throw out a super against Axel's range. I'm not sure if there's enough info for that. Yeah, you might be right. There might be an interruption there from the super next range. So this is a situation. It might be bad command grab. Both of them got far. This was Max. This was Macho's game to win. PRC. PRC. Oh, he got behind him. Switch but he got the fight. Yeah, you can't punish off of or you can't combo off of P's with Zato. And he didn't have Eddie. No. That's unfortunate. So. He doesn't get a combo off of his 2B or his 5B, but he usually can use it to force you into an Eddie block string, but he right, didn't have Eddie available. He had no bar. He had a bar to cook, people. But we're in the game to game. Set the set point right here. Only to the limit, looking a little closer right here. Run up grab from he, yes. First up from Macho. Wants to jump in. That's okay to keep him in check. One of his better hopes by in close way situations. DPS, this is his game to win. And, and that's two to one. DPS. The fact that he's he's willing to slug it out in, in front of the face. Yeah, oh, and then run so up and sick. run up and snatch him as the zoner. That's Sometimes crazy. you got it right. Sometimes you got to change the pace and just keep them keep them off guard when they're trying to force their way in. Yes, on game point to try to get that one back. Yeah, Macho already down a bunch of health. Macho done lost too much in this situation. Has to keep the pressure on. Cannot let up the gas. Burst. Back to neutral. Red RC. Nice conversion. The follow up. Overhead block though. But the throw. DGS on set point. And what a turnaround since game one already. This is something I, I thought the round starts would be better off than Macho's favorite and better. But DPS is the one who's staying solid. We're having better round starts. It should make Macho have to work his way up the mountain. Oh, that's a big counter hit. And he brings him in to get the side switch. Macho, though, nice air back dash, resets the corner positioning. Whoa! The, ball? the, the Matrix dodge. Dog, he saw the numbers. He accounted. Macho. So he has lost so much up with the one This is going to be a trade, I think. Yeah. No, what a smart play. Oh, Uses the PRC RC. to stay safe. Go okay. first. Mash up. Deep frog. See how good he has the defense is. As he gets open up, 2 H sword super. And this seems like the only real hole in DPS's armor. He's willing to block it out, but uncharged dust does seem to catch him kind of frequently. Same. We saw that. And runs it again. We saw that against 40% flash kick, and we've seen it against Zato pressure pretty consistently here. The question is, is DPS going to start standing up preemptively, and is Macho going to read whether or not he does that? I'd like, I'd like to see more that he's been opened up by that, like, not even just against Macho, but like other players. But it's sort of a game of chicken now, right? Because if you're Macho and you go straight to the lows and you're wrong and DPS is willing to just stand his ground and keep locking low and trying to react, you just threw away your mix-up. It's possible it may not even The mix-up, yeah, might not even get a chance to apply it. DPS with a flat lead, a lot of part to cook with, and has burst just in case things go Google South. Overhead. Macho's finally in, but not with pressure. PRC, PRC. to stay safe. Great so smart usage of resources. Last day to do it. DPS moving on Shall over. On FTC man. Macho. Access. Going up Wins. for the run back against 40% flash kick. And DPS, I mean, I mentioned it. He has 
taken these Ooh, tournaments no out of losers. This is not going to be his first time mm -hmm. getting the grand finals on the loser side. But it is against a new opponent that he is not going to have as much experience with. He does have the winner's final set under his belt. And that was a 3-2. That was a close set. He did mount the comeback against 40%. So going to see what does he have figured out. We're going to have one three out of five set. If DPS wins, he's going to bring 40% flash kick down to the loser side with him. Mm -hmm. If 40% flash kick wins, that's it. Tournament's yeah, over. It's over. <laughs> we just, they just run it. That's it, you know. And uh, just so everyone knows, after the Strive Tournament, we will have top three of Soul Calibur 6 coming up. Uh, they, the players were willing to wait it out to get some time on stream. Uh, yeah. I haven't streamed Soul Calibur in a while since, like, last year's Bud Light. So uh, I'm excited to show that game as well. Pretty sick to see. But first, stick with it. we got Grand Finals coming up here. Oh, man, y'all stressing me out out here, dog. This has been... Man, locals are so sick, though. It's just, because, again, we have the ability to play and stay solid with the good net codes in this game. This is what we were... Th this is exactly what we were struggling with the delay-based net code mm -hmm. for, what we were dealing with the rollbacks for. Thank you, Daisuke. Thank you, Daisuke. Look at 40% asking for the hype from the crowd to try to take down DPS. This is Grand Finals, FGC Meetups, Guilty Gear Strive, let's get it. Please, please, please let other people know what's going on. Is it going to be a one and done, or is it going to be a reset of the bracket? BPS has shown that he can acclimate to whoever comes his way. Young Grasshopper to answer, uh, in the chat, I believe it, two weeks from today is the next Street Fighter Five week. I think it was tonight, and then I believe it is in two weeks. Mm -hmm. Here we go, Giovanna versus Axel, and again, 40% flash kick. Something I noticed is he very rarely went for throws. He tried to keep the stagger pressure going, and a lot of that pressure by frames is not real, but DBS is so patient that he's sort of letting himself get kind of bullied here. He's not challenging a ton, does have to respect the dog top two cancels. Only thing he's really doing is going for the FDs and things like that. He's going to say that it's gets opened up. Lucky Tatsu. Wreck a combo, puts it to the wall, and the first one to 40%. And again, these core situations have not been too good for DPS unless he's got bar to side switch for that. All right, DPS gets the first hit this time. Has Giovanna full screen. Yeah, good check. Doesn't get the anti-air, but he does just kind of stop the momentum with that 5k there. And again, now he's starting to take his turn. Now he's starting to take some risk. Whoa, Goldberg. this is scary. With RC, keep the pressure going on with the 2D. And, and the this dash is the throw. grab. I had mentioned he hadn't been going for many. He says, I hear you. I got you. Got to watch out for the double overhead into the dive kick. Yep. The stagger step. Don't get opened up. Donkey Tosh 2. Red RC. Nice. What a challenge. challenge with the 2K. The RC. Right back in there. Y'all got the bar going wild out here. I don't know if that dude that was, uh, you know, said you guys oh, are wonderful or whatever. Yeah, if that the, guy's the, still here, uh, you know, he might be cheering here too. <laughs> I think it was Outstanding. I outstanding, believe. I believe yes, out Outstanding. I only know that because I think that's the name of the emote in the Discord. <laughs> outstanding. <laughs> oh, nice. Ante right here, DPS fighting back. It's like I can fight out the corner too. Let me show you something different. Wow, just chases him. I, I don't even know what move that is. It's a Rekka's. Well, in great command, yeah, you, don't see, you actually don't see that very often. 2D puts it to the one. Oh, no, the a drop. Drop, But Once again, the again. uncharged dust. But RC is where he's most dangerous. Oh, oh that's RC a bait. Bang. Yes, that's a punish. 40% flash kick says, I'm 40% Tokyo cool, baby. Do you see me? I'm 40% Tokyo cool. And YRC on block, pretty minus, and it's a counter hit punish. It's a guaranteed counter hit. I believe it's minus 8 or minus 10 somewhere in there. And that 2D is doing mad work out here, too, again. That 2D is swung out. Get the knockout, put GPS in the situation in the corner. And again, these grabs are starting to come out. He didn't show these grabs through all of Winner's Finals. Oh, the arrow, plus range. Oh, and the chase, and that's why backdashing Giovanna is so scary. The dash momentum normals, dash far slash is great at, change, uh, at chasing backdashes. The arrow for us. Explosion pulls him close. Come oh, on, this is going to splat. That's dead. That's so Hella sick. dead. What a read from 40% flash kick to run the overdrive. Like Drive right to the drywall. Meet your neighbors. 40% flash kick. Trying to go up two games. That would be super hard. 
deep just to make the combat for him. Now hit trade, so gonna go for the plus range. Sliding back down. Oh, that's a big call. Oh, that would have been huge damage. A little bit dropping the dust right there. Again, applying the plus range down in these situations. In these strings, if you're deep, you've got to find a way to strike back. There we go. Risk is high. Uh -oh. And that's why it can't be lacking. It's lacking in the corner. 2D dash. Does the throw red or six? 40% flash kick, gonna I put them through the drywall again, it he is says! Another, it is, that is game two. That's a fast 2-0. DPS, at least in this first set, is currently on his last Man, life. I knew that they cannot change society. Is this the time where Duel the god one. of the Midwest, the current god of the of the Midwest, goes down? 40% flash kick, coming all the way from Michigan, saying, I'm not gonna go home without having all the pie, y'all. Y'all gonna get a sliver, a slice, some crumb. That's it. Oh, the OTG, so the pressure just keeps coming. Oh, arrow just to get in. Denies the, de denies the dust, bro. Counter hit. There nice conversion. Go. DPS gets some damage on the board. Oh, oh god, burst. this is so scary. Oh, I think he might be dead with a super. And right now, 40% flash kick is running rule number one of fighting games, which is if something is working, you Don't do not stop it. using it until the opponent shows they can stop it. Exactly. The uncharged dust keeps hitting. And something that's been a game point for DPS this entire time throughout this entire bracket. This is able to stay solid against other players, able to stay solid against, you know, Macho, but a character like Geo, way different with it. It's a throw. Jump in again, trying to FD for DMC or life, but 2D e, though. Doggy Tatsu, counter hit! Doesn't get the full hit though! Knocks him away. DPS still in play. Good find something to counter hit again. It's a 2 way situation. Command, grab, side switch, R bar. Both have got bar. Careful of a super situation. Another command grab. PRC dust! Two, jumping H. With the follow up. And then he got him, that's gonna do it! 40 percent flash kick is your winner! From Winter Sun, taking down the giant of the Midwest! It has been week after week, DPS has been smoking people! And I'll tell you one thing, this dude came from Michigan, dog. I don't want to hear a damn person ever complain about their journey, whatever. This dude yeah, the drove traffic from Michigan, light, oh, it that's it. Ignites an hour away. This dude drove from Niles fucking Michigan Niles, to Michigan. come out. And win this fucking to tournament cook, in Chicago. To Cook, listen, I did see people cheer with him. All I want to say is it was only 40% that could actually seal the deal. Everyone else got to get going out here, okay? If he could do it, he could do it. Look, he's got his name on the damn his name on the back. Let's go. 40% go take it for this week's FTC Meetup. Strive Edition. Dog, that was Ooh, Some good sets. That was, <laughs> that was a lot of fun. So uh, that is it for Guilty Gear tonight. That is not it for FGC meetups just yet. We're going to take a short break, and we're going to be back with top three of Soul Calibur 6. So I hope everyone enjoyed the Guilty Gear action. Mm. Please hang tight with us for just a few minutes, and we will be back shortly if I can figure out how to get to the downtime. <laughs> there we go. We'll be back.